Hello, and welcome to my thoughts while standing in the queue. The other day, I was standing in line at a gift shop uh, trying to purchase a useless trinket that I had gotten for somebody who had invited me to spend the weekend at their home. And I was thinking about recycling gifts. There is a man uh, in America who gave his wife a dead cat, and in retaliation, she put it on eBay and got bids uh, that were up to thousands of dollars. This happened in the United States, because where else would a thing like this happen? And I was thinking about recycling gifts. All of us will take a gift that we've given, give effusive thank yous to the giver, and then put the gift in a drawer ready to give to someone else when we're called upon uh, to present ourselves and do something generous. You have to be careful, though. You have to remember who gave you the gift, and you have to be wary of whom you give the gift to, because eventually that gift might come back to haunt you. And the story I'm uh, remembering is about a young man in Berlin who uh, was invited to dinner um, at an elderly lady's house. Not that I think that all elderly ladies do stupid things. I certainly don't uh, all the time. But in any case, he was invited to this elderly lady's home, and he brought her a vintage bottle of port very, very expensive port. And she thanked him effusively, and she uh, told him that she couldn't wait to drink it, but that she already had drinks for the evening, and she put the bottle away. When he came back to her house the next time, she said to him, I want to thank you so much for visiting me, and I have a little gift for you. And she gave him the same bottle of port that he had given her when he came back uh, for a uh, when he went to visit her. And I'm thinking, and he said nothing. He was very, very tactful because he was German, and of course he would never do anything hurtful. Uh, German people don't do things like that. They're the ones that took in the refugees when everyone else wouldn't. Uh, but I was thinking about recycling gifts and how many times I recycle gifts and how careful you have to be not to give the same gift to uh, the person that gave you the gift. And so I recommend that what you do is you take each gift and you put a little label on it and you say, this was from Sue, this was from Mary, this was, because very often as the years go by, you forget who gave you the gift and then you uh, give it to someone else. And I think also that you should think about the quality of the gift that you're giving. I know that if I gave someone a dead cat, uh, they probably wouldn't put it on eBay. They would probably shove it down my throat. So you have to think of, of what the receiver would like. My new thing is that I give people um, pictures that I've painted. Nobody, and you can see even here, you can see my paintings in the background. And my pictures are terrible. I can't draw and they're absolutely horrible. But nobody, nobody has the courage to say, oh my God, this is a piece of garbage and throw it in the wastebasket when I give it to them. They say, no, this is beautiful. And then uh, they put it down. And then the next time you come to their house, they put the, the picture up so that you can see it and you can see that they love it. However, I remember that I did one picture that I thought was absolutely lovely and I gave it to my parents. And I said it was a picture of, of a woman that was standing, that was standing uh, with a towel the towel and I said and the caption that I said to my, I gave it to my father and the caption was that when you shut the door she turns around when I came back the next the next uh, week there was my picture in the bathroom right along with all the other funny pictures that my mother uh, didn't want to display in her living room so as I say always be uh, wary of the gifts you give I'm convinced that the best gift you can give is a hug and a cuddle. I think that is a lovely gift and nobody can recycle it. And thank you very much for joining me uh, for my thoughts while standing in the queue.